Farmer Jesse here. I want to talk about this today. This is a auger bit and um, I'm using it to transplant tomatoes. So let's do it. All right, first things first, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, awesome. Here's the thing. This is an idea I got from my buddy Pavel Ovechkin up at Pavel's Garden uh, outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Good friend of mine, great grower. I'll link his Instagram in the show notes. Um, what it is, is a 30 inch auger bit on the end of a drill, hand drill, power drill, battery powered. Um, this, I will link all the parts down below, but before you go down there, you have to know some things about this setup. Um, first, I got a bigger battery for my 18 volt DeWalt drill. Um, probably recommend a more powerful drill than this. It works well, and this battery helps, um, but with this setup, I can only do about 100 holes before I feel like I'm gonna wear out the motor. So keep that in mind if you're doing 500 or 1,000 holes or something, um, that you may wanna just get an auger if you're gonna do a bunch of holes with this. Um, second thing, this is not how this is supposed to look. This is me needing to get the tomatoes out last night um, and, and the day before, but not having a bolt that went through this because the... All right, I just wanted you to see this. I took it apart. So here's the auger bit and it comes with this hole and this clip that are quarter inch. Actually, these seem like they're a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, but that's what it comes with is that clip. And the intention there is that you're adapter will go through, you send, send that clip through and it plugs in. But the problem is, the adapter I got doesn't fit. It's like some weird size, like 7, 30 seconds or something. So if you, so you're, I don't really know what the solution is, but that that's the reality with the bit that I got is just doesn't fit. So um, you'll have to find an auger bit adapter with the true quarter inch hole in it. Yep, there you go. Or alternatively, you can stick a bolt through there with a nut and a nut lock and have it do it that way. Um, or, you know, in a pinch, some 12 gauge wire. That's where I'm at on that. So, 30 inch auger bit, three inch diameter. Um, the, right, you have choices, you could get different auger bits. Uh, the three inch diameter is because it's roughly the size of our tomato transplants. Um, size scoot, doot doot. This is, you know, tomato transplant. We make these balls for our tomato transplants. We pack them around. Uh, so that's what our tomato transplants look like. We don't have the little pots. We just do them like this, like soil blocks. And there, I'll put a link up below about how we do that. Just pop those in, but they're about three inches. So that helps. So having a diameter of three inches on the auger bit actually helps us to just plop them in there. This is my first go with this. Pavel's been doing this for a long time. I really like it. What are those called? I like it better than the post hole driver because it doesn't slick out the sides and create that little surface compaction. Um, it actually sort of scores the side, so I think that the root penetration will be a little better. It's pretty fast. It's a little less rigorous. Um, it's probably like 10 seconds per hole. Um, it's a little less physically rigorous, and what I mean by that is that um, the post hole diggers is pretty rigorous. I mean, that's a lot of work. Um, especially if you're doing, I, we did 200, we've got another 100 to go today. Um, so that's a lot. I mean, it's a fair amount of tomato, it's a fair amount of hole digging. Especially when you're wanting to go, you know, six or eight inches into the soil. To bury your transplant, we don't graft ours, so we do bury them up past these first leaves. Um, just for more uh, surface contact. It is still fairly physical. Um, I'm a big guy, I'm like 6'8", 220. What, it's YouTube, they won't. 5, 11 and a half, 145. When I'm putting in the holes, 
uh, I have to put all my weight on it. And beyond that, the um, you got to push down pretty hard. And if you let up at all, it'll kind, of, it'll kind of jerk your wrist a little bit. So you do have to be careful with that. Um, I did start wearing gloves just to protect from the blistering. And we only did uh, 200 tomato plants with it. Um, this, kind of like I mentioned, is probably not a big enough drill for much more than what we've already done. If I was going to do like another 200 or another 400, especially all at one time, um, I would probably want a second drill or a different drill, a slightly more powerful one. Um, I'm probably not the person to ask on what's a better drill for this. Uh, and they also make actual augers for the auger bit. On, you know, somebody may say like, oh, that's more disturbance than I want. Uh, you know, you're putting the, you're replacing the soil that you disturb with living roots and on a plant, like I don't, I wouldn't be concerned too much with that. It's significantly less than digging a furrow or tilling it in and then transplanting that way. It's, it's pretty low disturbance, right? Also, I could probably go out, this is also powerful enough that I could probably just go out in the middle of the pasture and dig a hole with it um, and then replace it with something like a living plant. So um, a lot of potential for using it. Let's talk for a second about the potential for it. What can you do beyond tomatoes? Um, maybe potatoes. You could even get smaller diameter ones that you could use for other things, but uh, maybe potatoes you could do. Anything that you want to drill into something like a, a cover crop or maybe you, if you have kind of dense soil that you don't want to till. Um, we're also going to use it for our peppers and eggplant. Thing that we put in into one of these three inch blocks. Trees, shrubs, uh, there's definitely potential there. And because we don't like using things for one purpose you know maybe you could use it for doing some post holes or something like that too for smaller maybe three inch diameter posts um for birdhouses i love birdhouses anyway i think those are all my thoughts for now on this so far so good i like it uh i think for smaller scales two to five hundred tomatoes this is a fine setup like i said remember about the adapter but fine setup um and i will continue to use it and update you if I have any other thoughts on it. Otherwise, like this video if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see y'all later. All right, bye.